The news about Sephiroth accidentally stabbing Isabel months ago and we didn't tell you back in December? No, and I'm still upset that you kept it away from me. Wario participating in the January 6th White House storming? No. Also, that happened? No news for Animal Crossing New Horizons? No. But maybe a little. <sighs> it's the newcomers, isn't it? Who thought this was a good idea? I know, right? Instead of a sword fighter, it's an actual sword. Wielding a sword. That's like a gun holding a gun. Sounds patriotic. The big boss one is Xenoblade Chronicle 2 reps, but it came too late for the final roster. Same with Mimin and Arms. The only reason I hate them is because I'm jealous. Jealous of their looks? I mean, they have actual hair, they're tall, they have actual personality. Their breasts! I hate their breasts! You're jealous of that? They jiggle more than my entire body and namesake. And it's insulting! Bruh. All breasts can jiggle! Nah, there's some flat ones. Name one flat-chested female fighter here in Smash. Alex. Maybe Lucina, but mostly Alex. She definitely puts the A in A cup. Should have seen that one coming. But anyways, I know insulting that you, a Pokemon with Jiggly in your name, isn't that fulfilling. Uh, look. People like them, okay? You're only known because of that one box guy who screams a lot. Yeah, thanks to him, I'm somewhat relevant. You know what I'm really mad at? Oh no, don't say it. What is it? And here we go again! Why is it called Among Us the Musical when there's barely any Among Us? I mean, come on! The crewmates only showed up for one bit and the rest were just filler, but was given the spotlight! It was like the first Thomas the Tank Engine movie, but Thomas was pushed back for a train no one even remembers or even cares! What were the fillers? Streamers, the pandemic, and a bunch of black people. Whoa, Pichu! That last part sounded pretty racist. Hey, don't think I meant to say it like that. But anyways, the musical wasn't bad. I liked the actors and the music. But it was freaking awful. Is that the reason why theater kids get bullied? Yes, and they deserve every torment. Huh. Well, now that we got... that... out of the way, anyone brought their duo for Duo Day? Duo Day? What's that? You know, Duo Day, your partner. To celebrate Pyra Myth for joining Smash, we're hosting a duo party in the living room. Kirby brought Gooey, Ulmar brought Louie, and Byleth brought... his other self. Wow. Talk about lonely. I could have sworn he has at least three friends. Didn't Pilot say he had some kid on his mind? Should I call FBI or Child Protective Services? If I'm going, I can bring someone later today. Cool. I'll bring in Cineroar. <laughs> Look at this. Progress. I was gonna get Mew since we star in the 8th movie, but Mew took all dibs. Oh, I see. Come on, let's get the Red Luchador today. Wait, no! Don't go in that door! Skibbity bop bop! What is the... I swear it's not what it looks like. I can't see! Oh! Um, excuse me. Would you like a hand? Ugh. Pit? Is that you? What? Dang! 
man, you finally got some fashion sense. You know, that white toga a tunic was like, so, 1986. I'm not Pitt. Richter? What? No! I'm Sora, from Kingdom Hearts! Sora? Sora. Wait. You can't be in this house! This is a Smash Fighters only! I was invited to Duo Day. Oh really? By who? Cloud. Uh... Okay. I didn't know you had relationships with Cloud. You haven't played Kingdom Hearts? No. Should I? The plot is all over the place. If you think the Kirby, Zelda, and Metal Gear franchise could be better, yeah, this one takes the cake, and not gonna cut and slice it. I didn't expect to meet him after a long time, let alone crashing. Crashing? Yeah, it happened in the backyard just a couple minutes ago. Ah, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's so quiet out here. I need to go get some garlic. Hmm. I should be making some micro games. But no, it's garlic time. Whoa! Huh? Where's that noise coming from? It can't be from this kid. Unless it's a cyborg. Hmm. I wonder how much money can I make out of all these spare parts? What's going on over here? Ah. Listen, Cloud, it is not what it looks like. I just happened to see. That's Sora. Is he a cyborg? Is that the why he's making all these noises? No, that's just Kingdom Hearts stuff. Oh, oh, he's moving. <sighs> Where am I? Don't worry. You're at the Smash House. Everything will be alright. Uh. Cloud, I don't think my face feels good. Am I alright? <laughs> well, at least I'm a lot more better. Better looking, I guess. Huh. Sora looks very big and wide compared to Cloud. Whenever I travel, sometimes my body changes. It's normal. Since when have you ever been normal? Who's that? Cinderace. The embodiment of the word tedious. What's tedious? It's an adjective. It's used to describe something tiresome because of length or dullness. So, he's annoying? He keeps breaking into the Smash House claiming he's gonna be the next fighter. <sighs> it's been like that for a couple of months. Hey there, Slick. I got a joke for you. I met a woman who was a taxidermist the other day. Ooh, tell me more. I said, what do you do in your job? What does she do? Oh, you know, stuff. Okay, that one was funny. Anyways, uh, E3 is coming. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. <sighs> Sora, what's wrong? Allow me to explain why Sora Loser from Cringe Dumb Farts will never be in Smash for all eternity! Did you just call me Sora Loser? Like in Sora Loser? You bet your DeviantArt level of fanfiction writing of a plot I did! I don't care how popular you are with adult men collecting Funko Pops and drinking from bottles of soy that they can't even open. Two hot topic women whose connections with their dads are more gone than the brains of Stan accounts. You can take that gigantic key and shove it way up your butt and lock those feelings forever coming to our grounds and fight the biggest mascot that makes the gaming world go round and round. As long as Disney has you hanging by your neck, you will never slap Mario's face with your own hands. That rat 
will be jingling that invitation that you'll never grasp. And I'm all in it to prevent hopeless trash like you from tainting this roster. Hey, get back. Listen, my dude. There have been many requests from people all over the years, and people say they can't because of so-and-so. I believe you can get in. That was a nice speech, but I don't feel like that chance will ever come. I'm like that purple man I saw early being all gloomy over there. Then again, Life itself won't like to give people chances, let alone they just take things. They can take your world, they can take your heart, cut you loose from all you know. But if it's your fate, then every step forward will always be a step closer to home. I have no idea what you just said. Is there something you don't understand? Yeah. Why would a series about some kid going on a magical journey with talking animals with an unneeded dark and long bland story drive a bunch of man children to go wild and crazy? I can say the same thing about you and your series and along with the Poketubers in their late 20s and early 30s and we both get nothing for an answer. Oh! Why you little... <sighs> Fine. I'm heading into the garage. <clears throat> well, that was something. Say, what are you gonna do after today? I'm going to continue my search to get back home from Quadratum. This is my choice, and I don't want any help. You know, near death, reaching heaven, using the power of awake, and just stop by here accidentally. <laughs> Best of luck, and wait. You nearly died? By a thread. Farewell! Go home safely. I thought you were gonna take him back home. <sighs> Guys, I'm sad. What happened? Postal clarity. Ah, oh, dude. Who made you the hardest? Gross! Zeke. It was Zeke. <laughs> hey, don't I know you two somewhere? <laughs> Intruder, Bandana Waldi! I thought I told you to look after the door! What's going on here, if you mind me to ask? We're going to act revenge on the entire Smash team by making a giant nuke to destroy the entirety of Japan! <laughs> Are you telling me you'll never learn from the start? Okay, uh, can I put my suitcase over there? Huh? Why now? We claim this spot. Well, then I guess... I'll move into the attic. Ah, uh -huh, I see. By moving in here, you can just hope that one day you're going to be in Smash and people won't notice you. I mean, at least I'm not some sort of lame assist trophy or a Goomba with a hat. No, no offense you two, but you should really suck it up. Well, we are already offended. Well, I'm off to the attic! What a weirdo! Who wants to live in the attic? I have a bunch of bob we can throw at for fun! But here's the real thing. I devised a chart and I see a great pattern going on. My son and Min Min are Nintendo picks. Followed by Joker and Steve being left field picks. Afterwards, Hiro and Sephiroth are Square Enix picks. And Banjo Kazooie, along with the newly announced ladies, are two in one fighters. <laughs> Terry is a fighting game character. 
and Evo is closer than ever. Possibly. Now, Byleth is a controversial sword fighter. Who can match him? Hmm. Maybe I do have a chance. Two years. It took you two years to finally show up. Didn't even came to the party I even made them two years ago.